I now found myself turning to television in a search for social explanations for my mother's unresponsive behavior. At first, this convergence of fact and fiction was a lark. After watching an episode of Gilligan's Island, I told Miss Lowry, my grade four teacher, that my mother couldn't attend a parent-teacher night because she had a tarantula bite. Then, a week later, after watching an episode of General Hospital, I told Miss Lowry that my mother had contracted septicemia. Just before Thanksgiving, my father stopped by unexpectedly. My mother was still in bed and I stood on the couch. I'm bicultural and I think that influences a lot of what I do. Um, the, the fact that my parents met in the way they did, I think makes me very interested in stories of strangers who meet in unlikely ways. And um, that was the story of my parents and how I came to be. And I think I'm generally drawn to those kinds of stories. My first book, I think that I was really motivated by um, trying to get a sense of the woman's voice. So the main character is a woman named Nyko and she works in an undeliverable mail office. And she's really kind of obsessive and fascinated with objects. And part of her job is to repatriate lost items that have come through the mail and figure out where they belong. And she's a bit reclusive and she kind of finds more memory and more meaning in this world of objects than in the people around her. But ultimately it's about voice for me and the story and um, and I think that that's for me the strongest thing. I think the one thing that unifies all of my work is I've worked as um, an art writer, I've worked, I've done um, academic work, I've written essays, is I'm very interested in how people deal with the past and how people understand themselves within history. The editor for me is, you know, it's an incredible person. It's like a, a birthing assistant, you know, and I feel that that's, it's like kind of a synergy between the two of us and that's where the story really happens. In the new book, um, it's actually set in an interwar period between the end of the first, uh, sorry, the Second World War and the beginning of the Vietnam War. And again, it's people dealing with the past, but um, in a much different way. It's a, it's a story of a father and a son. It's a kind of duet between the two of them. And what I've tried to do in this new book is to capture a sense of a child angles of the world, kind of a child's angle of the world. My stories are often big in the sense the themes are big, but for me the challenge is to get it from the big to the small so that it becomes intimate and you care about the characters and you care about the story. I, I think that all my characters so far have been obsessed with the work they do. I think I'm very interested in people's labor and how their work um, characterizes them, how they identify themselves through their work. I don't think I'll ever let go of that feeling that I'm an apprentice and that I'm still at the beginning because I think every time I start something new I feel like I'm at the very beginning and learning again. And I, I think that that's what's exciting to me is that sense of constantly learning and never feeling completely comfortable with what I do.